When you first open the TAG Addenda Print Station, you will see an information sheet. Please save the sheet for future use. The sheet contains your login and password, as well as information for your first test addendum. Your print station comes with a power strip for both the printer and iPad, as well as power cord. TAG has also included enough media for 300 addenda. Note that when you power on the printer, you will also need to hit the power button on the top right of the iPad. The iPad comes fully charged, but you will need to plug the iPad charger cord into the power strip along with the print station. When the iPad starts up, you'll need to first click on the settings button. Go to Wi-Fi, choose the Wi-Fi address that you want to connect to on your network. Wait for the checkbox, it's now connected to the Wi-Fi in the building. Next, hit the home button on the iPad and go back to the main screen. Open up the TAG app and insert the username and password listed on your information sheet. Notice that you can scan the QR code on the sheet. This gives you access to the complete TAG training and troubleshooting video series. Next, hit the Get Started button. Select your dealership. Notice that you have an option between creating either a new or used TAG addendum. For now, we are going to create a new car tag addendum. To populate the new car addendum, grab your information sheet. Click on the camera button below the stock number field. Place the information sheet behind the iPad and make sure the orange box is framed around the VIN number on the sheet. Hit the camera button and when complete, the system will ask you to scan the MSRP. Hit the camera button again. When you have captured both items correctly, notice that the fields are now auto-populated on your addendum. The tag system even knows the year and trim level. All you have to do now is manually enter the stock number and hit done. The last thing to complete your addendum is to choose the color. When the final addendum is printed, there will be a photo of your vehicle included. If the color of your vehicle is not in the system yet, it will default to white in the photo. Click Next. For new car addendums, you have the option of adding a markup. Below the markup are examples of line items that will be programmed for each vehicle in the tag system. Each vehicle will have default items that have been preloaded. You have the option of keeping these line items or eliminating them. You can also add a package by clicking the bottom blue link. Name the package and add a description and price. Click Save and now this is listed below the defaulted line items. Click Next. Now you have a choice to create another addendum or print what you've produced. If you're satisfied with your print list, you can click Print Labels at the bottom of the screen. If you want to edit any of the vehicles, simply use your finger and swipe to the left. Then you will be able to delete or edit the addendum. You'll also be able to uncheck certain vehicles that you may not want to print. Hit the back button at the top left and let's create a used car addendum. Add the stock number. The scan feature is not used in this example, so we are manually adding the information on the vehicle. Click Next. You can add a package if you want to. Markups are non-existent for used cars. Click Next and notice you have two addendums on your print list. You're now ready to print. You can edit as before or you can hit Print Labels at the bottom. The system will now download all of the information on the vehicles. TAG suggests printing no more than 15 addenda at a time because of the high-res images taking long to process. When the preview comes up, you can double-click on the image to proof the information. Use a pinching motion to zoom in to make sure everything is okay. This is your last check before you hit print. You want to make sure that everything is what you expect it to be. When setting up the printer for the first time, the device may see other printers on the network. Be sure to click on the Canon model. 
Note that when using AirPrint, you can't rename the printer. You are now ready to print. Make sure you have your media loaded. Check that print in color is chosen and double sided is turned off. Everything else should be ready to go. Click on the blue print button in the upper right corner. Now, once you get to this page, if you click done, your print list will be cleared from the system forever. However, if you hit reprint list, then you can make further edits. Remember that you can swipe left and click the blue edit button and it takes you back. Remember, the minute you hit done, it's now off your list and you will have to manually enter the information again. If all is okay, click on the print labels button at the bottom of the screen.